What is wrong if she accepts the responsibility of raising children and working too? Raising children? And accepting responsibility to work. Yes. Now, again, briefly, uh, this is a lecture topic, but you can just touch on it. Islamically, what are the duties of a wife and a mother? Between the wife and the mother. Yes. You said, my brother, rightly, it requires one hour to answer. So, inshallah, I will leave it. The first question is that, that if, as I said before, if the need be, you can, both of you, not husband only, not wife only, you can raise your next generation, but earning for the home is mostly major responsibility of the husband. If for any reason he cannot do that or he's done and it's not enough, then you can come. Believe me, this is also a wrong idea that we say raising children is the responsibility of the sisters. No. There is a coin, it has two sides. If you have a coin that is one side embossed and the other side is blank, nobody, even your telephone call machine will not accept that. So it comes from father and mother, then the child becomes the full person. And it is in a hadith as well. Uh, Professor, for you. Uh, is it allowed for a Muslim to do hijrah to a non-Muslim country? To a non-Muslim country. To do what? Hijrah. Yes, it is allowed. But do we have to? Unless there are the least even possibility that you could do your dawa in one country, there is no possibility or no plausibility to leave that country. If you have come here, this is your Darul Hijra, if you want to, and make dawa until it becomes Darul Kufr. The whole America, the whole Canada refuses and says, no, we won't allow to let it go. Then it becomes something else and you have to move somewhere else for Hijra. But this is the fertile country for Islam, believe me. In all the countries, 37 of them that I have been, even Muslim countries or Arab countries, I found this country has no retaliation against Islam. It has only curiosity for Islam. So this is the best country that you can make dawa. So what is the question of hijra? You have already made hijra from your own back home country and came here. If you have come here for Islam, that is good. If you have not, you have come only for, for making your life more pleasurable, then change it. Imam Faruqi, how could I call him? Shaheed. He was in the Temple University when he and his wife were slaughtered mercilessly. He said in a most beautiful way in England when I was there, that if you have not come for Islam, then change your intention right now or you will become instant muhajir. That's it. <laughs>